Hey everyone, welcome to the brand new video series of Azure DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. So I'm currently in dev team backlog. In our earlier video, we have seen about how to create iteration. We have set start date and ending date for the iteration. So these are called a sprint as well. And if you couldn't see this planning panel, just click on this three dot and simply enable the site panel. We have already covered parents in progress completed child items and keep hierarchy with the filters as well in this video let's see about planning just note that tips and important points will be shared at the end of the video please do watch till the end sprint planning usually occurs on the first day of the sprint in sprint planning meeting there will be usually two parts in the first half the product backlog owner will be just seeing up this backlog there will be n number of uh, item in this particular backlog and here we will be having the order as well. Let's say for example, if you want to prioritize uh, login with linked account, simply we will be prioritizing this. It is moved to order one. We'll be addressing order one, order two, order three. Likewise, we'll be planning our sprint. Product backlog owner based upon our previous sprint experience will be suggesting, hey, the team is capable to complete nine story points per sprint. So product backlog owner will be suggesting like let's push these two user stories in our current sprint these are having around nine story points which team is capable based upon our previous experience now we will be tagging these two user story to sprint one which is this let me move this and this if you see two user story and six tasks now let's come to the second part of sprint planning so what we'll be doing is team will be suggesting for this user story these are the tasks to be done and this is the estimate let's say for example for login with linkedin i have already created two tasks and team is suggesting we may need two more tasks for documentation so let me add a task from here just click on this press icon and click on task we will come to this as any part later and team can add description from here and what is this activity so this activity is a documentation activity so in case if it is development design you can just select from this drop down and how many hours it is going to take it may take eight hours and just mark the remaining hours as eight and let's say for example if i worked for two hours today i'll be just marking it as six and i'll be just updating this as two completed as two and remaining as six anyway we haven't even started the working on this task so let it be as eight and if you see here area path iteration everything is looking good let's save and close and let me create one more task as well and i guess we are done with the backlog there is something called as forecasting which will be used for sprint planning, which we'll be seeing it in a separate video. As of now, we have planned with the story points itself and we have assigned this user story to this particular iteration. Now, let's jump to sprint boards. And here, if you see, we are in dev team and we are in backlog. And here you could find 10 working days remaining in the sprint, even though it is, we have added 14 days in the sprint, excluding the holidays, it is showing up 10 days remaining so how this is getting calculated if you just click on the configure team setting here we have set the working days monday tuesday wednesday and thursday so that is why calculating the working days it is showing up here and in case if you want to create a new work item just use this option from here in case if you want to add a user story to the bottom of the backlog you can use this or to the top you can just define it over here and in case if you want to see additional column over here just use this option just use add a column and type the column you want and you can just simply drag and drop using this option and here if you just click on this drop down it is showing current sprint as iteration on based upon current date and in case if you want to switch to any other future iteration or past iteration you can just click from here and just click on expand one level which will list out your task let me minimize this task let me turn it off and here if you see for each user story i have added like original estimate as eight ideally you should split up your task in such a way that it can be completed in a day 
in case if it cannot be completed in a day then you can split this activity and create some more tasks let me close this and here if you see there are four tasks which is having eight that is why it is showing up 32 for this particular user story and similarly for the other one as well now just click on the view options and if you click on planning you will see the same panel which we saw in backlog this is not required just click on work details now we are in backlog part we will come to task board later here if you see under work it is showing up 64 why if you just add up the remaining work for both of the user story it is coming 64 hours and we have marked development and documentation effort for this particular task right so for development it is showing 32 hours i guess these two and then these two and similarly for documentation we have four tasks so it is coming around 32 32 and if you see here un unassigned it is 16 hour which these two particular tasks are unassigned and here for this person 24 hours and this person 24 hour now let's do capacity planning just click on capacity tab from here and here you could find the list of users of the particular team in case if anyone is not showing up just click on add user and type the user you want and click on cancel let's say for example if you have more users to be added and you couldn't find any user just click add all team members which will add every team member from the particular team for AS dev team we have these many users right so everything will get added in case if you want to remove any user from the sprint meaning like let's say for example car Kulali is not required here just you can remove the user from here and if you see for a particular user you say days off let's say for example this particular user is not available on 31st select the start date and end date and you can click on ok now let's say for example if entire team is unavailable let's say for example public holiday so in that case just select days team days off from here and add from here let me provide a starting date the team is unavailable from third till fifth just click on ok and here if you see for this particular person per day he is capable to work on development for four hours so here you will be setting the capacity per day so per day capacity could be around seven hours as well it depends upon your team how you, they are working so i'm just assuming the capacity per day is just seven hours and same person will be working on documentation for three hours Indian this particular person is working on some other team as well and he will be available to spend one hour of development effort every day that is what he could do and car Kulali, she can spend seven hour per day on documentation and for Tamil Arasan and let's save this now let's go to our backlog before we proceed i like to highlight that it takes a lot of effort to make a video like this so i request you to subscribe and hit the bell icon as well super thanks is now enabled on our channel if you wish to contribute i would really appreciate it and if you see here working days remaining it got updated to 7 previously it was 10 now it got updated based upon team days off and here if you see we have capacity for 170 147 hours and but we have just 64 hours of tasks which means teams resourceful times are unutilized it is not even close to 75 to 80 percent right we have 80 hours for development based upon team capacity and 67 hours for working on documentation but we have only 32 and let's move down here and if you see here cloud tech rom is having a capacity of 42 hours in the entire sprint 
but it is assigned for 24 hours indian and tamil arasan is not even assigned with any task so let me maximize this and these are unassigned i am going to assign this to indian now if you just scroll down you could see indian is overutilized meaning like he will be available just for 7 hours through the sprint but we are assigning 16 hours of work to him if you remember here in capacity we just added like he will be available one hour per day through the sprint now let me go to backlog let me maximize this in that case we may need to assign Indian's work to someone else where Tamil Arzan is there Tamil Arzan let me go to capacity I guess Tamil Arzan we have given like development so let me split this activity let's save and let me go to back I'll be assigning both the work to Tamil Arsan itself. Now it is somewhat okay, but still we have unutilized resource, right? So in that case, what you can do is you can simply go to backlog and you can pull out some other user story to this particular sprint and you can just adjust your work to team members you can change the assignee and you can work on it this is how the planning part will work and once everything is finalized you can just click on email and you can send this email to business like hey this is what we have planned for this particular sprint to your business or backlog owner likewise and it should be noted that this particular member should be a part of the project so planning is done now how the daily sprint meeting will happen daily activities on sprint board i will be explaining it in a detailed way in my next video now let's see about tips on important points. mostly you should create a task in such a way that it can be completed in a day if it is taking more than one day just create some more tasks and split your work and planning meeting usually consists of two parts in the first half product backlog owner will be identify the items which it feels the team can complete in the sprint based upon the previous experience and in the second part team will determine what is the estimate and it will define the task the planning panel will be showing up only current sprint and next 10 sprints in the list it won't show more than that and add all team member action can retrieve only 100 team members after that you need to add team members one by one only and let's say for example you are in our next sprint and under capacity everything will be reset in case if you want to copy from the existing sprint just click on this option and select copy from last sprint so it will automatically copy from the earlier sprint and you can save it we have lot of concepts to cover i request you to hit the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever i am uploading new videos most importantly super thanks is now enabled on our channel if you wish to contribute, I would really appreciate it. Follow me on LinkedIn to stay connected and I will be providing the URL for WhatsApp and Telegram link in the video description. Please do join. Thank you. Bye-bye.